Hey everybody, this is Kim with Lazy Boy of Orlando, and today we're gonna talk about a parachute pull release repair. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually very, very simple. What happens is you have a release right here, and this pull releases the footrest, and every once in a while, we're meant to pull it like this, but we tend to pull it up like this. Well, this little plastic that covers the steel inside gets a little worn, so then it frays a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to replace this part. It's a pretty simple part to repair, but because I'm no expert, I brought Reggie, our resident expert, and he's gonna show us a quick, easy way to replace this part. Are you ready, Reggie? I am ready. All right, let's go. All righty, what's required to replace this is a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill and probably a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna get those parts. All right, while he gets those parts, I'm gonna get this squared away. It's a nice, simple repair. We're just gonna need to release this flap right here because it's attached to this right here. We ready, Reggie? I'm ready. Now you have two screws which attach the handle to the wood frame of the seat. So you would take your Phillips head and remove the two screws. Once those are removed, pull the handle through the fabric. Now you would take your flathead screwdriver and there's an eye that's connected here that you want to release. So this little round piece? That, that little round eye, eye there, we call it an eye. Release that. Oh, just pops right just off. Just pops right off. And it's also on the mechanism connected here. You want to pull that over that little connection there and pull it off. So common everyday tools that everybody has at the house. Everybody has at the house. Perfect. So I take it we need this next? Yes, we do. There to we install go. the new one, you would make your connection here first. Slide that over there, connect it. All right, I'm gonna try this part. Then I'm you wanna connect that eye. Right over here? Right over there. Okay, so pull this over here a little bit. Put that right on there. And then I think I need a little bit of I muscle need power. need a little, little force. All right, I'll hold so. this back for you. Perfect. Snap that right on here. Then we run our handle back through. Oh, missed my little pocket there. There we go. And reinstall our two screws into the frame. Just line them right back up where they were before. There, Kim. Yep. <laughs> wow. And there you have it. That was pretty simple. So here's my question. You do this every day. You have these parts with you. But if I'm just the average Joe and I just want to do it in my house, uh, no offense, but I want to wait on you to come to my house, how do I, what do I do? How do I go about that? Well, first you would look for your law label. So what Usually is that? Usually underneath your foot rest, you will find your law label. On your law label, there is an acknowledgement number, which will tell you, us exactly what this unit is. So you find the acknowledgement number on your law label. So once you have that acknowledgement number, I believe we call the service department, which is located here in East Orlando, and we give them that number, and they're gonna order that part. They might even actually have it in stock. They'll mail it directly to my house. And as you can see, this is a pretty simple repair. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks so much, see you next time. Next time.